So I wanted to come in and make a quick video and just kind of walk you through the strategy that I used to take these three trades during the past few days to short from right here at about 42k and then take the long from down here at about 41.1 and then take another short from up here from around 42.7 thousand dollars and these are trades that I have been taking in the background context of myself also being in more of a swing long position from down here right so while I'm currently also in this long I'm able to take shorts and longs at the same time and the reason why I bring this up is because a lot of people get stuck in the mindset of feeling like they have to only be in one trade and then they take profits too early and then they miss out on more gains and so what I kind of want to walk you through is how you can be in multiple positions at a time and basically use that to your advantage to be making more gains than you would be if you were simply just looking to open and close a position so make sure to like the video make sure to subscribe to the channel and I basically want to walk through how to have multiple trades open at once now the first thing you have to do step zero is you have to have multiple accounts you need to be in a position where you can long and short and long and short and long and short at the same time okay for example for me I can be in this long from down here while also being in a long from down here and also being in a long from down here now I, I'm actually not in a long from down here I am in a long from down here I uh, missed the opportunity to get into a long here but that's besides the point my point is I'm able to have these multiple positions open at the same time and not only that I'm actually still in my short from if we come to a higher term time frame I'm still in my short from forty seven point eight thousand dollars okay so I'm I'm short from up here I'm long from down here and then I'm in multiple trades and the, the reason why this is so important is because we have to understand that there's a difference between swing trading and scalp trading if you want to do this and do this successfully then you have to have a separate mind for your swing trades and for your scalp trades okay and what's so great about this is the fact that you can do something called schlonging okay schlonging is where you're short and long at the same time and let me tell you why this is so lucrative if let's say you're in a short from up here which I am um, then I don't know right now if this is simply just a retracement and then we're gonna get a, a lower low right and also I'm long from down here now I don't really know if we are going to uh, just get a retracement one of these places and then put in a higher high and so what you can do is you can take partial profits out of your position and then move the stop loss to the entry so for me the long that I'm in right now I have taken partial profits out of that position and my stop loss is now literally at my entry so if I get stopped out I'm going to be stopped out in profit having taken a big portion of profit out of that trade my account is larger than when I entered the trade and the same is true for the short right I actually I um, have my stop loss at my entry so you know if we just come up here and then we get another retracement well I can take more profit out down here but there's no reason to be scared that I'm gonna that I'm gonna um, you know keep gains on the table because here's why let's say that my short does get stopped out at the entry well guess what my long is still open and it's still making money and this principle holds true regardless of whether you're in swing trades or scalp trades so on a smaller time frame right now okay I am also in a schlong. Now, obviously, this short has gotten stopped out in profits, but right now, I'm long from down here. If the short I'm in right now, we just bounce from the golden pocket that we're coming down to, and then we put in a higher high, well, awesome, because I'm still in the long from down here. But if not, and we come down lower, okay, this short will continue to make money, and I've already taken profits on my long right here. Now, these are trade setups that we give in advance over in the VIP Discord if anybody's interested. For example, that long trade yesterday, we had the level, well, this is the swing trade from about uh, 30, 39K. This is the one we were looking to enter. Gave the setup in advance. But then uh, yesterday, we were looking at a key level to get into the long trade from right here. Okay, this box right here between 40,700 and 412 thousand the level is given right here and then not only that in yesterday's live stream uh, literally Boyan gave the exact setup that he was looking for to come down to that 41.1k level 
to get the pump from there. And then the short this morning was a trade setup that I gave in the Discord um, early this morning where I was looking for us to come in and put in a higher high around that uh, 42.7, 42.750 and then get the dump. And I have to say the trade wasn't drawdown for a little bit, guys, but we got our confirmations on Mark Cypher B. So I stayed in the trade and currently now it's up over 100% in profits, right? And so these are trade setups that we do give in advance in the VIP Discord. If you are interested in joining, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Jason Casper. It's not a signals group, guys, but it is an educational group where we post the levels every single day, the potential trade setups, as well as a thriving community of traders in here um, who are posting their technical analysis and uh, potential trade setups and all that stuff, guys. It's a really great community. So this brings me to my next point, okay? If you want to be able to do this successfully, you have to, first of all, plan in advance for your swing trades and for your scalp trades. So remember, the context of these scalps and day trades that I'm in is that I'm in two massive swing trades. So something that a lot of people don't quite understand is how do we know where to look for a swing trade and where to look for a scalp trade? You're going to be looking for swing trades, guys, at massive levels. Okay, massive levels. What do I mean by that? Well, let's take a look at the swing long that I'm in right now. The swing long that I am in right now from down here at about 38 point something thousand dollars is a level that is the Fibonacci golden pocket retracement from this low that we put in to that $48,000 high, right? This is a very key level because it's on a very large time frame over the course of, of a long time, right? We're talking the end of January to the middle of April. And so this would constitute a big level. Now the swing short that I'm in from up here, right? What level was that? Well, if we take a look at all the price action that we have traded uh, coming all the way back, you know, very, very far, we can see that that is actually the the highest volume node of price. Uh, hang on, guys. I need to go to a higher time frame for us to see this. We can see that's the highest volume node that traded literally since the summer of 2020. And not only that, if we take our Fibonacci retracement from the high to the low, we can see that this is the macro 382 Fibonacci retracement. And so your swing trades are going to be based on these very large time frame levels where you are able to take months of price action and come up with key areas of support and resistance, okay? Now, if you don't know how to get these levels, you can check out the course at jasoncaspertrading.com. There's a 25% discount in the description, but the focus of this course is to give you a clearly defined point A to point B comprehensive system so that you always have that plan in advance and know where you're looking to enter trades, where you're looking to take profits, etc. right? And so when you have these macro levels planned out, then you're going to be looking for confirmation at those very large levels. So for example, we can see here on, the, um, on some of these higher term time frames, uh, well, actually, you can't really, the entry that we got here was based on a lower time frame, but we, we knew we were looking for the short because we were at that massive level. And then down here, where we got the swing long, we got our confirmations on the four hour time frame, right? So that's, that's what you're going to be looking for. And then in order to then um, get into those swing trades, you can take your time and wait for confirmations. All right, this is also very important. I didn't short until we got to right here. And the reason is because when we're coming to these massive levels, you're going to have some time. You're, you're not going to have to enter into the trade in the split second that we touch the level. In fact, we came up to the level on March 27th. I didn't short until March 31st. So four days later, we had four days as we were at this level to determine, okay, is this a good place to short? Is this macro level actually going to act as resistance? Of course, we determined yes, and that's why we shorted it. And then even when we come down here, we had a few days to get into this position. If you didn't long it at the actual golden pocket, you still had the opportunity to get in. If we pull the fib from the swing low to the swing high, we had the 382 retracement right here with some other confluences. I'm pretty sure we had like a, a um, some kind of a, another level right here to get into a long. In fact, shout out to Boyan because I know Boyan gave that signal and, and took that trade as well. And so my point here is that, you know, when you're taking these swing trades, you can take your time and determine, okay, these are trades <clears throat> that I'm going to be holding for a long time. Now, once you're in your swing positions, this is where the second account comes in. 
And you're going to open up that second account, and then you're going to zoom in and plan your day trades and your scalp trades. Okay. Now, in the case of planning your day trades and your scalp trades, the trend doesn't really matter as much. We're going to be looking for local ranges. Okay. So what made me want to take a short from right here, this level here? Well, if we take a look at a larger, um, the larger scope of the price action, we can see that we have, if we look at all the volume that traded here, we have a very high volume node that uh, came in at right about that forty-two thousand dollar level, right, a uh, forty-one nine fifty. Okay, and so when we're coming up to that level, uh, as we zoom in for that day. We can see that we, in fact, got our bearish divergences, which we were looking for, as we came to that level, right? So we came up to here. We can see the 12-minute time frame over time. Uh, money flow and momentum is coming down. So over here in the Discord, um, the original setup was given over here. We we're looking to take that short from the 41.7 to 42.1 thousand dollar area. We wanted to see our divergences. We had the plan, and then uh, I did give an update to it right here uh, because price action changed a little bit. And then we got our confirmation, and we came down right from that box, right? And so then the the long trade down here. Why were we looking to get into a long down there? Well, if we pull a Fibonacci retracement from the low to the high, you can see that we have the golden pocket coming in right around here and also we had a high volume node coming in right around here and so we had drawn the box in between these two areas saying we have very very key support right here if we get bullish divergences on market cipher B as we come to that level then we can look to enter into a trade so we came down into the box we got bullish divergences and so that was the setup that uh, Boyan gave yesterday literally during the live stream he gave that setup, um, and actually, I'm sorry, that was this setup that he gave right there. And we had that box on our chart um, from yesterday, right? We, we clearly had it marked out between the golden pocket and that point of control where we were looking for the long. And so now you're almost going to forget that your swing trades even exist. You're going to totally forget about them. You don't even have to have that account logged in besides to set your take profits and stuff. And you can just trade like this, looking for local areas and looking for local divergences. Now, the reason why I took a short from here this morning is because we had a, we had two key levels here. We had a naked daily point of control, and we also had a regular level of resistance. And we were looking for 12-minute divergences. So we come over here to the trade setup area. And so, again, we had a naked daily point of control, and we had a regular daily level we also had a potential chickens drinking water right here and we wanted to see the 12 minute bearish divergences on the chart and uh, that's pretty much exactly what we got although my trade wasn't drawdown for a little bit I hodled onto it the reason is because you know market cipher it, it was giving us a bearish divergence on the one hour time frame and that's that's a super powerful signal to come down from here right and so the reason I'm able to take these trades is because I have multiple accounts I've got my swing trades in order I've already put myself in a position where, regardless of what happens to the price, I'm still going to be potentially making profits on the volatility. And so now that I've got that out of the way, I can relax and I can focus on these smaller term time frames, right? Now, if this is something you want to learn, again, check out the course, check out the 25% discount. Uh, this is literally changing the way thousands of people approach the markets, guys. Um, you can check out the testimonials here. There's a discount in the description. Um, yeah, that's it, y'all. I uh, just wanted to make a quick video, kind of walk you through my mindset when I'm taking these trades. And uh, God bless, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.